actually coming to you with a quick face video. I seen another YouTuber that did a awesome video about how she was going to do her face in five minutes. Um, she's really awesome with the makeup and all that. But I started thinking about how I kind of don't wear makeup as much anymore. And how I probably would wear it a little more if I had more time. So, um, I'm going to just do my own little, like, makeup challenge. I'm not going to do five minutes. She did five minutes and her tips were make sure you have everything laid out and make sure that you're not a beginner because you want to make sure you already kind of know what you're going to do with your face and you have a routine of how you do your face because you don't want to be wondering and thinking and debating and all that kind of stuff you want to know what you're going to do but I always do my face the same way so I do have that part I'm not a um, professional or anything beyond an amateur by any um by any measure but i do know when i get ready to do my face i know exactly what i'm gonna do because i do the same thing every single time i do not vary <laughs> from the same thing that i do to my face every time i used to be into all the eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff but not into all that anymore just do some liner and some lashes and you know my foundation and stuff um and i move on with my life so i'm gonna see if i can at least do it in 10 minutes because i'm not a professional <laughs> but 10 minutes like doing your makeup in 10 minutes and then being able to like move on with something else in your day is awesome i am actually going to be doing a um another she in um i don't want to say review kind of it's not a review it's try on slash review i do have some clothing items but i have some other items that are not clothes that i want to kind of show you guys as well that i was excited that i got but i wanted to have my face done when i did that video so i was like why don't i do a twofer and we do both so here we are um i am going to timer look at the timer and i'm going to 10 minutes okay i'm going to say 10 minutes because i don't have everything laid out everything is in my little makeup cubbies over here so try to do 10 minutes very simple makeup um i'm gonna try to talk along the way and we'll see how it works out all i did was wash the moisturize my face so it could be fresh and i wet my makeup sponges so those are the only things that i pre-planned and everything else we're going from here so i'm gonna look at my timer on my phone and we're gonna have this under 10 minutes a quick face okay so i always start of course um i did my moisturizer already so next i want to go with uh primer i've been using this uh professional for like ever now um the mott rescue i do get like really oily right here this is really the only area and a little bit right here i get really oily um i don't get too oily on my forehead it's just usually like around here but this has always been good for me and i probably need to do less talking but um we will see how this goes um and i do have like some elf uh poreless face primer um i don't know i just started using it of course it's a lot cheaper than this stuff but um i don't know how i feel about it i'm just not sure so i'm just not sure if it's for me and my skin type because i didn't really mm, i didn't like it compared to because this is what i've been using for like a few years and i'm not one to really like change up on the makeup thing i try to stick to what i know um works for me and my skin um y'all see i have a lot of hyperpigmentation here um that's weird i didn't start getting acne until i got in my 20s that was awkward <laughs> like really really awkward um so i will go next with my foundation and tart shape tape face tape whatever you call it <laughs> i love this stuff i just recently started using this um i was definitely into the uh drugstore uh, i used revlon um god i can't even remember what it is uh revlon and i used uh l'oreal true match for a while as far as foundations but i just got into this probably put on too much again i am not i'm gonna go with the sponge instead of the uh brush okay definitely gonna need some more i'm sure this is not anywhere near enough 
Last time I did my makeup, I put on the, just to try something out, I put on the uh, concealer first. And it actually worked out pretty darn good. Um, it actually worked out pretty well for me. I recently cut my eyebrows down. Um, just the length of them, not really the shape. Um, I just cut them shorter. So it'll make it like easier to work with when I'm kind of trying to tame my brows with the pencil. Um, so they look a lot lighter. They look a lot less bushy and fluffy. Um, so I feel like that'll be a lot easier to um, deal with. I think that'll do. I'm at six minutes, so it means I use like almost seven minutes. Um, so I use four minutes already, <laughs> and I haven't done anything. <laughs> and this is the uh, what color is this? Deep golden. I don't think I'm gonna make my 10 minute cut off, y'all. <laughs> okay, that's going away. Um, after that. I was using this for the longest, uh, L'Oreal Infallible, uh, Pearl Glow Concealer, um, under my eyes. I have this weird thing under my eyes. A lot of people have dark spots under their, darkness under their eyes. I have lightness. My skin is lighter under my eyes. So that's like really weird, um, just to kind of, it's weird to work out. So I go under with a lighter color, but I try to blend it more because it kind of stops. The lightness kind of stops right here. So I go in. And I try to make sure that it's blended, like, so you can't tell the clear line where it goes from light to dark on my skin. I don't know. I guess it's better than being darkness under the eye. I don't know. But it's just weird. Beautiful. And I'm going to try this one for the darkness over my lip. Uh, of course, this is the LA Girl Concealer. Um, this one is the orange concealer. I use this to like hide my faux mustache. I don't know. I don't have a mustache, but it's just really dark right here. Um, oop, that was a lot. That's way too much. Uh -huh. And this one was in Warm Honey that I used under my eyes. A little better okay time is a, I'm almost at 10 minutes y'all forget the 10 minutes <laughs> all right now I'm coming back with uh, light powder and then I'm still using the L'Oreal true match for my powder I'm trying to get my mirror squared away there uh L'Oreal true match in W7 caramel beige um, Again, trying to fix where the 
I suddenly go from light to dark over here. And I don't do any um, contouring like the darkness around my nose because I mean, it's naturally already there so I don't really worry about it. I do sometimes do the uh, area right here, and I use the LA Girl in the mahogany. This says mahogany. I do that sometimes, kind of darken up and then darken under here, but I'm not going to do that today. Again, just a quick face so I can get on camera and show y'all my new stuff from CN, all right? Ooh, I'm looking real yellow on the camera right now. <clears throat> oh, well, I don't look like this in real life, okay? This is just the lighting. Let's see. That's what I really look like. <laughs> I think I'll go to that one. That one looks a lot better. Alrighty. After I do the darkness, I come on, I mean the light powder, I come on with my dark powder to see how to even everything out. Some serious no-name um, brushes from Shein. I just got like a whole pack of them. My dark powder was, of course, still L'Oreal True Match, but this is C6 Soft Sable. All right. Um, after I do that, I do blush, 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 blush. Let's see. I guess this was not the challenge for me because I got to put stuff up after I used it. <laughs> I got like a seriously elf, cheap elf palette I got from like, I think I got this at like TJ Maxx one time. It's, I like the colors in it though, so I use it.
I feel like my blush is running into this orange that I put right here. <clears throat> I don't know how I would undo that without putting more foundation, which would cause it to be thicker. I don't know. Since we're already over the time limit, you know, why not? I'm going to go in with some Shape Tape Concealer. This is Deep Sand. Just messing up stuff. Sure, I just broke like 5,000 beauty do's and don'ts. I'm going back in with the wet sponge after I've already did other stuff. I don't know. But it's done now. Who cares? the highlighter up here like I'm I'm just not like you know no I'm not that into it and I use the magnetic lashes because I haven't learned how to use the real ones um <laughs> these are cute though I like them they're really cute and it's a lot easier too install and then you kill two birds with one stone you have your eyeliner on and it's the lash stuff at the same time so hey it's a win-win for me i got these off of amazon and those are like the choices these were like some of my two favorites so i just like stick them in the box over there but um i got some Decent choices to say this whole pack was like twenty dollars and it lasts forever. I go over with the uh, just some regular basic mascara 
Maybelline Rocket Volume. Rocket Volume. <laughs> Just to get the powder that's on my lashes out before I apply the uh, faux lashes. I never really wear the more fluffy lashes on this side. So I'm just, since I'm staying in the house, I'm not going anywhere. Go ahead and put these on. It's supposed to snow here tomorrow. I'm definitely not going anywhere. It's cold outside. And I try to start, I don't know. It's weird. I try to start them on the outside, but then it seems to never be over enough to the inside. So I'm going to start them on the inside. Uh, if I get too close to the inside, it always uh, aggravates me and scratches me. So I just had to be careful where I place them. I think that'll work. I hope that works. I don't know. Random limp pencil. I did not put my lip moisturizer on earlier either. This is my lip moisturizer, y'all. O'Keefe's Lip Repair. I think this is made for like people who work outdoors in the cold. I use this on my lips all the time. I don't like chapstick. I don't like Carmex. But I love this stuff. It doesn't have that waxy feel to it. I hate that waxy feel. No shine, just moisture, and it has a nice mint flavor. Okay, this is my new favorite lipstick. Um, what is it called? Opera Velvet. It's like a little cherry color uh, by Dior. It really has a velvety feel to it. It feels super soft on your lips, so really goes on like smooth velvet. And y'all see this, my favorite print, right? Houndstooth. And then the actual lipstick itself has the houndstooth print on it. So I couldn't resist it when it came up on my timeline. Like Facebook just kind of like put this on my timeline and set me up. So I had to get it.
Um, oh, Tragic Brows. Thanks for reminding me, guys. Tragic Brows. The situation is that critical mass is really horrible. Um, yeah, it's time to wax the brows again. I'm about to say forget it if y'all can't tell by the look on my face. I think they're equally tragic now, so there's that. You don't feel that? I love these little things. I get these from Shein. Um, I bought them before from somewhere else. I can't remember where else I bought them from, though. Um, but the little tooth um, brow shaper things. Yep, it's not going to happen. I don't have any tweezers handy. I think when I finish this, I may go through with some... Um, what do you call those things? I really don't have tweezers handy. I usually always keep tweezers in my drawer. Um, I may go through with some wax and just wax them since I got them shaped out. But I'm not going in with any concealer whatsoever to do anything to these brows. It's just not happening tonight. Did I mention it was going to snow tomorrow? It's not happening tonight. Okay? Um... <laughs> Alright, last but not least, uh, a little random highlighter on the face. I think I'm done here, people. Now it's time to make a Shein dry on. Ah, 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 with tragic brows on deck. It was good chatting with you guys today. As you can see, I cannot do my face in under five minutes. I ain't under 10 minutes. I could probably do it if I had everything like here instead of in the drawer where it goes and then me having to put it back in the drawer when I'm finished with it like somebody is standing behind me saying clean up clean up clean up <laughs> I don't know um I could probably do it in 10 minutes mm, probably 15 so 
my grand oh jesus the clock says 42 minutes i started to make i started the primer at two minutes so this took 40 minutes and i didn't even fix my brows correctly <laughs> Anyway, it was an experience. I look good and I look good enough to go on camera because y'all are not going to be disclosing my face on the next video, okay? I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye-bye.